Today I'm going to show uh, a new uh, tarp suspension that's uh, fun to tie. Uh, this is a this this green part with the with the loop in the end is a fixed eye, fixed spliced eye with a Brummel lock, uh, and it's got a grappler's hitch on the end of it. All this grappler's hitch is is a round turn through the eye and a stopper knot. This happens to be a double diamond knot. All right, you go around the tree, open the loop, place the button in the loop, put it to the height that you want it, pull, pull the button or the diamond knot as hard as you can And pull the pull the, the tarp line and let it release and it will that will hold. I use these hair scrunchies instead of a tarp skin. They're cheap, they're light, they're replaceable, and uh, and they tend to stay on the line. There they are stuck on the line, so they're not going anywhere. All right, now I'm going to uh, stretch out the tarp a little bit by sliding the prussics. Slide this one this way and tighten it. I'm not pulling on the tarp, I'm pulling on the continuous loop that's prussic and lark's headed. It's lark's headed onto the tarp and prussic onto the line. Now I'm going to go to this other side and do the same thing. All I'm doing is stretching the tarp out and adjusting it from side to side. There, that's it. Tighten the tarp line up on the underside, and I'll show you just how easy it is. Uh, did you see that? Well, I'm going to show it again in slow motion. <laughs> All right. All this is is two continuous loops. One here and one here. They're just prussic wrapped onto the tarp line. I think these are five rat prussic. I'll slide them down where you can take a look at them. This one has a grappler's hitch on it. It just grabs the excess loop right there. Alright, so here you've got a continuous loop with a grappler's hitch on it. And down here you just have a continuous loop on the line, on your tarp line. So that's all it is. There's your tarp line. There's your continuous loop uh, with a prussic, and you've set it. And so there you go. It doesn't go anywhere. It's going to stay there. Now here's all you do. You're going to have all this extra line, which uh, is uh, due to variability between uh, different sites that you might choose, uh, the variability of the distance between the trees 
and uh, the, uh, how big around the trees are. On this uh, coffee suspension for a tarp line, we've got a continuous loop that's five wrap prussic around the line. And then you just take your finger through the continuous loop here and you grab hold of the line and you pull it through. You pull it through right up there. And so this bite or this this bite is this adjustable bite is just taking up your extra line. Extra line that you might use for uh, trees that are further apart or bigger around. Take the uh, grappler's hitch that's attached to the uh, continuous loop, this five wrap prussic around the tarp line, and put the knot, the double diamond knot, through the bite that you've just made here, and then open up the uh, expandable button and put pull the uh, diamond knot through and tighten it. Now that you've got that attached, just grab hold of your prussic and slide it on the tarp line to tighten it. Then set it and you're good to go. Uh, what I like about the coffee suspension is you only go around the tree one time on each end and you're not tying any knots, you're not using any hardware, and uh, it's a neat setup. From the, fr uh, this can be under or over. Uh, if it's underneath, uh, it's hard for people to tell how you how you put it together, and it's real neat. Uh, just looking at it from the outside, you don't see anything. Uh, 